if you're using a Samsung, you're at risk. Or at least that's what Apple tries to make you believe. The truth is that Samsung has actually gone above and beyond what they necessarily needed to with their smartphone privacy and security. It's called Samsung Knox, and you should know how it protects you from the inside and out. Today, we break it down. Let's go. Hi everyone, welcome back to Tech With Benefits. Daniel here. Samsung Knox is Samsung's security offering that protects your smartphone right out of the box. It's inbuilt into a range of Samsung products, not just their smartphones. It's got their Tizen operating system. It's got their, their new smartwatches. It's got their TVs. It's everywhere. Now, Samsung also have Samsung Knox that is a B2B solution. That's an extra bit. And I'm not going to cover that in this video. If you would like me to, it's, it's a little bit more complex and very niche. Just let me know in the comments and I'll try and track it down, but it could take me a while. What I'm going to look at here is the consumer grade, which if I'm being honest, is effectively enterprise grade as it is when it, with its security. Samsung Knox is multi-layered security, meaning that it's actually built from the chip up. It uses a combination of hardware and software to protect the data and information that is on your smartphone. It's actually so secure that since its inception, it's been classed as defense grade and multiple agencies around the world, government or police, actually use Samsung products because they are proved to do so based on Samsung Knox and its security platform. So to break Samsung Knox down today, we're going to look at four different ways that it actually works to keep your information safe and secure. We're gonna actually start with Samsung Cloud because a lot of people probably have questions about Samsung Cloud and how does my data up there stay secure? So I'm gonna actually look a bit of a, take a bit of a sidestep away and look at how that works and how you can actually make it more secure. Then there's something called real-time kernel protection. So we're going to take a look at that. And then Knox Vault, I'm going to break into two sections because there's the Knox Vault and there's also the Knox Vault processor. And there's things within there that actually make it work to keep all of your data and information safe. Let's start with Samsung Cloud. Using your Samsung account, you get Samsung Cloud Storage that's free to keep backups of things that are on your phone that you definitely will not want to lose. Things like your messages, your phone settings, Wi-Fi passwords, lots of different things actually get stored and can be backed up using this Samsung Cloud backup service. By default, it is actually secured using your Samsung account credentials. So you can turn on two-factor authentication. So there's a lot of different ways that you could protect that from the onset. And of course, Samsung's cloud servers are also secured uh, using some security systems that they have in place. You can actually take this a step further within Samsung Cloud and use Samsung Enhanced Data Protection Service to actually encrypt your information. Hey guys, uh, just editing. Just thought while I remember, I actually realized that that enhanced data protection that the Samsung Cloud now offers is a One UI 5.1.1 feature. So not yet on the S21 Ultras, but you will find it on your Flip 5, your Tabus 9 series, and of course the Z Fold 5. So when One UI 5.1.1, or makes me think it's going to be One UI 6 for the Ultras and S series, you'll see this feature. But for now, it's just a Fold One UI 5.1.1. Let's take a look at how it works. It actually provides you end-to-end -end encryption. So only you can access the information no matter what happens to it once it's in Samsung's cloud servers. The reason why it's done like this is just in the off chance that Samsung Cloud has an attack against it, your information is encrypted with a very, very long pass key that only you know. And only you can access it through your approved devices with your Samsung account logged in. It's a very long code, very long. But this whole premise is that things like your messages, your phone call logs, your settings, paired Bluetooth devices, Wi-Fi settings, settings within apps that you use, all of that is backed up and secured under this passcode. So no one can access this. And that, that's quite crucial because there's a lot of crucial things like your Wi-Fi settings, uh, personal information like call logs and messages that you don't want people to have. So it's nice to know that there's this extra step to, to activate. It's very simple to do. In Samsung Cloud, there's the setting there. You go into it and there's a bit of a process that you follow. It spits out a code for you. Just make sure you keep this code safe because you will need this code whenever you try to access this information if something does go wrong. Real-time protection is basically evolved because of the fact that we now live in a society where everything is on all the time, 24-7. We 
barely turn our smartphones off. I'm not saying that you have to turn your phone off, but every once in a while, it is actually good to to refresh it. If you go watch my first ever video, there is actually a setting that you can toggle on that automatically once a week will turn your phone off and turn it back on whilst you're asleep. I do recommend turning that on. But real-time protection is here because we leave our phones on all the time, meaning both hardware and software are constantly connected to external internet, for want of a better phrase. And that means that you're constantly always connected to somewhere and there's always a chance that something could happen. Back in the day, you'd obviously shut computers down. So you might be on your computer chatting on MSN, for example. And then once you're done, you shut the computer down. It's no longer connected. It's shut off from the internet. You no longer have that link. Smartphones don't operate that way. When you go to sleep, you actually chuck it on charge. So you're adding power to your phone and it's always connected to the internet whilst you're asleep as well. To combat this, Samsung Knox has real-time kernel protection. The thing is with this, there's no setup required. This is on, as soon as you power on your smartphone, this activates and, and starts to work. Let's, let's sort of break down what it actually does. It's the core of your operating system. When an attacker finds software vulnerabilities, they will take advantage of the kernel. That's just what's going to happen. The bad thing that could happen is if your kernel does get compromised, your sensitive information could get leaked out because they basically can take control and have the be at the wheel of your smartphone if they get in and control the kernel. Real-time monitoring, controlling your phone, that's all possible if they get in and infect the kernel. The thing is too, if they get into it, any other security measures that sort of exist are kind of rendered almost pointless at this point. So having something like what real-time real kernel protection is, is vital. In simple terms, the real-time protection is basically like a 24 seven security guard that's standing outside checking IDs for people as they're coming in. If it's approved and deemed safe, you can go in. However, it's if it's not, it's just absolutely not going to let you through the door and it'll stop anything that sort of happens. It's an extra stop to verify a request that would access and control the kernel. There's definitely more technical ways to explain it. Effectively, it's just there to hover around, making sure that everything that comes through is approved and something suspicious, they'll fish it out. The great thing is, this does not affect performance at all. You will not notice this operating. It just does everything in the back end and allows you to enjoy your smartphone experience like it's not even going on. Samsung also, to back this up, have a periodic kernel measurement product in place as well. And this is just there to periodically check the kernel to again, make sure that nothing more large and sinister is going on. So there's a lot of things at play here that Samsung have implemented to make sure that your kernel is safe. It just periodically monitors the kernel to detect if any legitimate code that normally runs off the kernel has been altered or modified maliciously. Having on-device protection is great, but sometimes it's great to get some third-party help. And that's where today's sponsor, NordPass, comes into play. Who is it? Yeah, mate. Just come here to to grab all your passwords and just take it with me. Good luck, mate. NordPass is the most secure way to keep all of your passwords safe and sound and away from those pesky hackers. You can securely store all your passwords in one place without needing to memorize them all. It can autofill so you can log in faster, getting to the things you need to much quicker. As well as passwords, you can store credit cards and other personal information like addresses to help you shop and browse the web safer. Sync it across all devices for the ultimate inconvenience as well. Here's an example of what NordPass can help secure. Think about your social media usage. Sometimes we use one social media account, let's say Facebook, to easily log into other apps and websites. If your Facebook account gets hacked, the hackers at your door would get free reign to all your other linked services and accounts. NordPass is effectively your best way to prevent this. It's not just a password manager, it's an essential cybersecurity tool to make your life easier and safer. It's simple and easy to use and was created by the same cybersecurity experts who built NordVPN. Use the link on the screen now that's been added to the description to get your exclusive access to NordPass's best ever offer. It's risk-free with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Thank you to NordPass for sponsoring this video. Thank you, NordPass. 
We're now going to look at the final two, and they're both the same. It's Nox Vault. Nox Vault came into effect with Samsung's Galaxy S21 series. Effectively, it just builds on what Nox already was, but it now creates an even more extensive security solution for your smartphone and to protect your information. The very simple breakdown is that it's isolated from the actual SOC and the pro application processor that already exists on your smartphone. That's because it's a separate system that sits outside of it. It has its own operating system and with its own hardware, it's there to separate the most sensitive of your device information away from that main part of your phone. The data that they secure here is of the highest importance. The highest of security measures need to be taken place to protect it. Things like your biometrics, things like your blockchain passwords, even things like your, your keys, that, for example, your digital car keys, all that sort of stuff is what gets stored inside the Knox Vault. Let's sort of take a look at what the Knox Vault is sort of made up of. You've got the Knox Vault subsystem, which is part of the actual SOC on the phone itself. But then sitting outside of that altogether is the Knox Vault storage. There is a link between, the Knox Vault does have its own processor that sits on the main SOC, but not connected to the application processor. And there is a link between the Knox Vault storage and the processor, but we'll get into that in a moment. First, we're going to look at the Knox Vault storage, because this is where everything that's secure and sensitive gets stored. It's a completely dedicated memory system that houses all of that stuff that I was talking about. Its design is to be there to prevent side channel attacks and stop people gaining access to that sensitive information. And if they do happen to get in the phone itself, that stuff's away because the stuff that normally can infect your phone is looking at a more broader sense, running off a software thing, whereas this is purely stored away in a hardware sense and has no connection to the main part of the phone. Because connected at the heart of all this is the Knox Vault processor. As I said, it sits outside the AP, the main processor of the phone. In this case, the Snapdragon HN2 for Galaxy, but it sits on the SOC. Being separated from that main AP, like I said, it keeps it separate from attacks. Some attacks depend, or most attacks depend on malicious software that share the same execution core as the target software that was under attack. So effectively, if your Android operating system is the one that's being targeted, this is separate. This will not be impacted because it is completely independent of that information that is under attack. The process itself has its own RAM, ROM, sensors, etc., and even an external memory manager. This is important. That gives it a link to both the Knox Vault storage, so it can access the biometrics, and to the device's actual RAM, so it can link between the two and pass information through as it needs to. The external memory manager has permission to read and write to both the Knox Vault storage and the RAM itself on the phone. Samsung have texted Knox Vault to, be, to resist physical probing, physical manipulation, forced information leakage, side channel attacks and fault injections. Basically what will happen is if it detects a physical attack as well, it will just shut down. It will just shut the whole thing down so no one can access anything and all your stuff doesn't get leaked to, into the wrong hands. You're probably wondering what services does Samsung make that actually work in conjunction with Samsung Knox? You've got Samsung Cloud, which I covered. You've got Samsung Pass, which I've spoken about before. You have services like Secure Wi-Fi, Secure Folder, Samsung Wallet, of course, that's got the most sensitive information in there. Samsung Health, so it protects all your health data. And Find My Mobile, another quite crucial thing because obviously you need to make sure that you your devices are safe and the information in there is safe. The thing is though, all Galaxy devices are actually secured by Knox by default. If you are questioning whether yours does, Samsung have actually set up a website where you can go and check if your device is secured by Knox or not. Some of them are a little bit more advanced than others. For example, devices running One UI Core, they don't quite have the hardware level that what S series for it does, for example. They're not enterprise uh, ready either. But your flagships absolutely have the highest of the highest level of secure Knox with the Knox Bolt storage. There is honestly so much more that Samsung Knox encompasses. But for me, the most crucial part is the Knox Vault, that secure dedicated processor and storage that kind of just acts to make everything secure. The rest of Samsung Knox basically works as it has done for the last eight years and it made improvements over time. But absolutely the biggest improvement is Knox Vault storage and Knox Vault in general. Having that dedicated SOC and that dedicated storage just gives you that peace of mind, especially when you consider that we're keeping more and more on our phones these days, 
things like your biometrics and your, your car keys and your, your payment cards. You want them as secure as possible. So that's it for this week. Appreciate you guys coming back and checking out Samsung Knox. If you have any questions about Samsung Knox, let me know in the comments. I will actually try and reach out to Samsung and see if there's any more information that you might want to know about. But this is what I think is definitely the most crucial and definitely dispels that myth about Samsung not being secure. If you like stuff like this, please go check out the rest of my channel. Make sure you subscribe too. Got all sorts of stuff planned, plus heaps already in the bank. And between now and my next video, you can come hang out with me on Twitter slash X and Instagram. And I'll see you next time. You!